Hi guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 5. It's currently like 9 p.m., 9.40 p.m. And I'm getting ready for work. I'm a little late, I overslept, but get ready with me for work. I'm gonna start with washing my face and brushing my teeth and get that over with. My face wash, set of fill, Pond's moisturizer, and toothpaste is Colgate. I need to get my hair done. I just haven't had the time. Also, my mom's been out of town. She came back in town today. Hi, mom. But this hair is also synthetic. So if you know synthetic hair, you're like, you can't put heat on the synthetic on synthetic hair. Wise, watch me. This is what I look like. Going to work like this. A fool. That's what I look like. Okay, let's do a Q&A. For all those who do not know me and who are new to my channel or new to watching me this vlogmas. I open this door so it's not super freaking echoey in here. Because other than that, it's super echoey. I'll put the question up on the screen. You guys can also answer the question down below in the comments because I would like to get to know more about you as well. So the first question is, where is your favorite place to go on vacation? I have not been many places outside of Texas. I would love to go to Hawaii. Um, I would love to go to like Bora Bora or Mexico. What is your favorite TV show? I don't really watch TV. Um, I'm not really a big watching things kind of person. I watch YouTube every now and then. I used to like love watching YouTube. I had so many YouTubers that I watch daily, this, this, that. Now I don't have the time anymore. As you guys can see, I barely have the time to be Vlogmas because like Working overnight is difficult because I sleep during the day, so I don't really have much time to watch anything. But we'll go based off, we'll, we'll change the question. Who are my favorite YouTubers? But at the moment, my favorite YouTubers are Saray, Remy. My favorite YouTuber has always been Remy. I love Aslia and Alyssa Howard. I'll be at work, and you know how like, if you guys watch Aslia or Alyssa Howard, you guys know that their videos are longer, uh, especially Aslia's. So I'll be at work and I'll just be watching those because I freaking love their videos so much. Another one of my favorite YouTubers is my, my fam. I can binge watch their videos all day. Like what I'll do is I'll purposely not watch like videos for like a couple weeks and then just binge watch them because I hate just watching one. It's like, it's like a TV series where if they put out the first episode on Netflix or something, you're just like, dang, like I need more. So instead of watching all like their videos when they post them, I'll wait a little bit and then binge watch them so I don't have to like be like sad. <laughs> How many shoes do you have? <laughs> I used to have a lot. Now I don't have many because I actually get rid of shoes. I used to actually have a lot of boots. Um, but I probably have like 15 pairs of shoes. Do I wear them? No, because all I do is work. I spend all my time working. So I'm always in Crocs or slides. But you know how I said this hair is synthetic and you can't put heat on synthetic? I have the straight print, 340. Next question, how many kids do you want? Um, I really would prefer one, but I think I would want two at the most. What's the last movie you cried to? I don't really watch movies often. Um, I don't prefer to sit down and watch movies often. But I did kind of shed a little bit of a tear when we watched Thor uh, Love and Thunder. Is it Love of Thunder or Love and Thunder? I don't know. But y'all see how much better that looks now? Don't let them lie to you and say you can't put heat. Okay, don't get me wrong. I've tried spraying like heat protectant as like a sort of a detangling or even like water and conditioner. And like this hair doesn't really dry like that. <laughs> and the trigger got stuck to it. So we're not going to talk about that. Have you ever shot a gun? Uh, I have. I shot a 22 shotgun, I think it was. For one of our first dates back in 2019 as a couple, his buddy had took us to a shooting range or wanted us to go to a shooting range with him. And we went and he had a 12 gauge shotgun and a 22 shotgun. And I shot the 22. And it was hard because like I was sore that day because I was babysitting my niece. My niece Dior was like a newborn. And so I was babysitting her the day before. 
And so my arm was sore from holding her. That was, they had me shoot the 12, which the 12 had a little bit more uh, kickback than the 22 did. That hurt. It really did. I feel like if I wasn't sore, it wouldn't have hurt that bad, but it hurt. But it was fun nonetheless. We had a, what are they called? Clay pigeons, I think that's what they're called. Uh, we put them in a little machine, pulled it, and flew up in the air. Uh, I missed, obviously, but <laughs> we still have some of those clay pigeons. We should definitely go again. Which movie did you last watch? The Elf, or Elf, because I never really saw it as a kid. <laughs> and then also, he was watching Alita again the other day, or yesterday, today, today. He was watching Alita, he had it on the TV while I was, was that today or was that yesterday? I don't even remember what, I think it was yesterday. But yeah, Alita, if you guys have never seen Alita, you totally should, it's a really good movie. Do you enjoy roller coasters? One thing about me is I love me a roller coaster. I do not like the ones that go straight up and drop. I will never get on one of those, but every other roller coaster is my thing. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? No. In school? Yes. I was also the one who helped my best friend cheat. We always had like at least one or two classes together. We always had one class together except for junior year, which is 11th grade for people who don't know. And sophomore year, we had science together. We cheated. She cheated. I helped her cheat. We had like a code. Whenever we took a test, the desks were in rows. So it was in rows. And every other row got the same test. So normally we sat next to each other. But on these test days, we make sure we sat in opposite rows so we got the same test. And so we had like A, B, C, we had like A, B, C, D or something like that or backwards or the other way around, I'm not sure. But she'd like hold up a number and I'd be like, and then she wouldn't know what letter it was. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. What is your pet peeve? I have a lot of pet peeves. Actually, a lot of things bother me. People are my pet peeve. By that, like, I don't like people. And people are always like, oh, like, when I say that, people are like, wow, you're antisocial. It's like, not that I'm antisocial, it's just that I don't feel the need to bring new people into my life, so I don't feel the need to socialize. Not only that, but, like, there's so many people who should know better out there that don't. Like, they do dumb things, and it's like, aren't you an adult? I hate people walk too slow, drive too slow. One thing I do hate is if I'm eating off of a spoon, I don't like sharing a spoon with my boyfriend because he puts his whole mouth on the spoon and like lips and everything and like cleans the spoon off every time. I don't like that. I don't like the only time my, like the spoon, the whole spoon is in my mouth is if I'm done. I'm putting this little mini hair tie in my hair. What's your favorite midnight snack? Ice cream. I love ice cream. Okay, so I have that little hair tie in my hair. I'm gonna take this claw clip, I'm gonna twist my hair, and flip it upwards, put it in the claw clip, and flip it backwards. That's what I do for my hair pretty much every day because it looks super cute. It's like my favorite hairstyle right now. Do you enjoy shopping at the mall or online? I hate shopping. I hate it so much. Um, unless it's a thrift store. If it's the thrift store, I could be there for hours. If it's the mall or something like that where I gotta try on clothes, count me out. I hate the mall. There's too many people. People walk too slow for me. There's too many kids that are running around because their parents are just like, whoop de doo my kid would be on a leash. Um, I know people are like, oh, you leash your child up. Instead of like the mall, I would have one of those little monkey backpack leashes on my kid because people are crazy nowadays. I'm that mom that would leash up my kid because you are not about to sit here and run around and make me look like a bad parent that you're untrained. So, no. What do you miss the most about being younger? Childhood. <laughs> I miss childhood. I think being an adult is so hard. Nothing in this world can prepare you for being an adult at all. I don't think the school system prepares you well to be an adult. The school system doesn't teach you how to be independent at all, um, in my opinion. I can go on a whole spiel about public school systems, but when I have my child, they will not be in the public school system unless it's their choice because it teaches you, the school system teaches you how to be a good employee and how to rely on the government. I don't want that for my child. My child's going to be a leader. They're not going to be a follower. They're not going to be taught how to sit down and shut up, you know? No. My camera overheated and turned off, so I'm not going to do any more questions. I'm going to continue to go get ready. I need to put on my rings, so let's do so. I have this black ring with hearts from Ally Express years ago. This gold ring that I stole off my boyfriend, <laughs> stole from him. Uh, this anchor ring that I got from some 
friends that I no longer am friends with like five years ago. I got my high school class ring and then I have this ring that he just got me. It was a Christmas gift that he gave me early. It's a turtle with blue topaz and it goes on this finger but I have a ring on that finger already. So I'm gonna get this one resized and move it over here. Yeah, those are my rings. Okay, let's go get some clothes. This lighting in here is really bad, so I have my flashlight on, but this room is the guest room slash my rave get ready room. Whenever we do laundry, since the laundry room's right there, we just kind of put the clothes in here, but I'm gonna wear this. So my clean clothes basket is here with some clothes right here. Yoga pants from Academy and a an athletic sweater from Walmart. I wish that every day of the year Now, socks and shoe and boot. <laughs> this is my boot because I have a, a stress fracture in my metatarsal that likes to hurt every now and then. It doesn't like consistently hurt, but like when it does hurt, it stops me from being able to put any amounts of pressure on it. So I just wear a croc and my boot. There we go. Now I gotta pack my backpack and get out of here because I'm late. Any footage you see from here on out will be on my phone until I get back home in the morning. It is currently 3.40 and I am tired. Um, there's not much going on at all. Like at all, it's actually a pretty boring day. We have these days quite often in the middle of the week, but yeah, I'm just chilling on TikTok, uh, getting a little bit of work done of what I can, and that's about it. But I'm gonna go back into my office. It is 7.12, and I am still here. I'm tired. I'm probably gonna be here for another hour and a half or so. <laughs> I look like I got electrocuted. It is 10.30, and we are on our way home. I got off at like nine this morning and then we went and saw my best friend at work because I needed tampons. So I went to go get tampons from her and now we are on the way home. Uh, then I won't. I am now home from work and I'm gonna get editing. Um, you hear the dogs, they're eating in the background. I cleaned this kitchen the other day and it's just... That is the end of Vlogmas Day 5. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you come back for Vlogmas Day 6. Because why not? Even though I'm going to be doing the same thing. Working! That's all I ever do. I know these videos have been really, really short. And it's again, because all I do is work. But this weekend, I will bring you guys along. Pretty much my weekends are the only times I can actually do things because I work during the week, but I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless. I know those are short and simple and like take you two minutes to watch, but whatever. It is what it is. At least I'm getting something up for y'all for Vlogmas. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on your notifications if you haven't already. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6. Bye guys.